Hello, it's been a while. I thought I'd do a quick video to help anyone out who's got these programmers, uh, the I2C. Uh, it doesn't affect this programmer, so you should be fine with that one. It affects the P14 Pro. Uh, basically, after an update, uh, you won't be able to use it on the software that you normally use it on. So I thought I'd do a quick video to show you the solution. Uh, this is version 1.66a. So, anyone having this issue, this is the solution for it. I'm going to switch over to the computer now. Right, I've just loaded up Windows. Um, normally, when you start up the software, you click on I2C Tools. And this will bring up the I2C Tools platform. Uh, this is version 1.4.15. So, uh, this has just been updated. And as you can see, after the update, it don't connect the uh, programmer to the software, so it won't show up in here. Even when you click refresh, like, it won't show up. Query won't show up. So you, uh, it basically makes the programmer completely useless. You can't use it within the uh, platform. So here's the solution for it. Click download. It's uh, up the top here. So once you click here, it does take a while, like, it takes a while to load up, but uh, it will load up a website. Yeah, so once you click here, you'll be uh, sent to uh, this website. And this is the I2C uh, download page. Um, that's the platform up there, and there's the P14 Pro, version 1.70a. If you click here, the link don't work. Uh, this is the uh, link, and the link's broken, so you won't get through. So here, click English, and you'll be taken to the I2C website, and then click Download. Here, it'll take you to the English version of the uh, download page. Um, yeah, and you click P14 Pro, click Download. And as you can see, the download link works. I've already downloaded it, so I won't be downloading it in this video. And then once you close that out, install that uh, P14 Pro, so you won't be using this platform anymore. This is completely useless. Right, and then you go down to P14 Pro. So once you install that, open it up. And as you can see, look, device online, up top left. Device online, I'll unplug it, device offline, plug it back in. And device online. So yeah, it will connect to this software absolutely fine. Uh, I'll quickly load up a hard, a hard disk to show you it working. And as you can see, it's reading the info absolutely fine. And I'm just going to query this information. So it's reading the hard disk. Yeah, and it's reading the data absolutely fine. Um, I'll quickly show you it right in, so you know 100% it works. 80, tick the box, right checked information, and it's right and absolutely fine, 1%, 2%. It will speed up a bit, yeah, there you go, so it's written it. Yeah, and that's, yeah. Yeah, so it's complete. Right, and then I'll query it this quickly, just show you it wrote all right. And as you can see, the edited information has been written onto the hard disk. So yeah, uh, you have to use this now. So uh, this platform here, as far as I know, it's just the P14 Pro that's affected. So you won't be able to use the P14 on here like normal. So you have to use it on the other platform. I don't know why they've done that, but they've done that. So hopefully this solution helps on out.